Hello, energy adventurers. Have you ever heard of the phenomenon called an urban heat island? Let's jump in and see what we can learn. Urban heat island is a phenomenon in which urban areas experience higher temperature than the rural areas um, or even natural areas surrounding the urban areas. Urban heat island effect happens both in summer and in winter and let us show you what I mean by that. For example, we're in an urban center right now. As you can see, the land area around me is covered by sidewalks, buildings, and roads with minimum trees, greeneries, and water bodies. So why don't we take the surface temperature of the sidewalk and see what we get? Using an infrared thermometer, the temperature of the sidewalk in an urban center is 31.5 degrees Celsius. Right now, we're in a natural landscape. As you can see, I'm surrounded by vegetation, trees, and there's a water body nearby. So why don't we take the temperature of the sidewalk here and compare it to the sidewalk in the urban center? Using the same thermometer, the temperature of the sidewalk in a natural landscape is 13.5 degrees Celsius. That's a big difference for two locations within the same city. So what is the reason for these differences? Well, usually in the urban areas, there are a lot of buildings, roads, sidewalks, parking lots, and very few water bodies, parks, and trees. Impervious urban materials like asphalt and concrete absorb and store more solar radiation than natural surfaces, causing the temperature to be higher, especially in downtown areas. Contrast to an urban areas, there is much more vegetation and green spaces as well as water bodies in natural landscapes. That leads to a cooler temperatures because of reflecting more solar radiation, evapotranspiration and shading. So why does this matter? Hotter urban areas can have harmful impacts on people's health leading to heat stroke, heat cramps and respiratory problems that can also lead to heat related deaths. Also, higher temperatures lead to an increased energy use from the use of fans and air conditioners. At the same time, urban heat island can increase air pollution, which can also lead to more health problems. So because of the impact of the phenomenon, we're conducting a study to understand how the urban heat island effect has changed in Edmonton over the last two decades. The study will help us determine warmer areas in the city and to understand what measures we can take uh, to reduce the effect, especially under the changing climate. Make sure you follow our study and the details are below. Now we know why it's so much hotter in the city compared to green areas. Keep exploring your energy landscape all around you and we'll see you next time. Bye.